Welcome to my brand new series called 100% Straight Fire. To give you a quick overview of the series, in these videos you're going to be practicing uh, some information either that we started in class or that you'll be learning for the very first time on your own. After attempting these questions, you'll be watching a video like this to look over your work and to tune up your game and then finally we're going to finish up following up in class with a series of quizzes some partner quizzes and then eventually get you to the point where you can master 100 percent of the knowledge from these topics so let's begin with our very first topic angle knowledge so by now you've tried working on the worksheet um, these are the answers you should have gotten 35 degrees for number 2, 40 for number 3, 140 for 4, 140 degrees and for 5, 238 degrees. So let's go over why these answers are the way they are. For the very first one, these two angles are linear angles. They form a straight line. So together they must form 180 degrees together. You may also call this supplementary angles. For um, number two, in number two you must notice that these two angles are vertical angles. So that is the word that I'm looking for there is for as far as a reason vertical angles. Now angle three is worth 140 degrees because these two angles here also form a straight line. So again I'm looking for linear. Number four. Angle number four, well, there's a few different things you could say. You could say that four is vertical with angle number three so it must be the same. Or you could have said linear or supplementary because Four is supplementary to angle number two. And then for question number five, in a circle it's how many degrees? Well, in a straight line it's 180 degrees. And if it's 180 degrees on top and 180 degrees on the bottom, altogether it's 360 degrees. So you could say circular angles for this one because those two angles must form 360 degrees. 360 take away 122 would give you the 238 needed. Okay, on to example two. We are looking for supplementary, complementary angles, and congruent angles. Well, let's go over these definitions really quickly. Supplementary means it adds up to 180 degrees, it forms a straight line. And that's a nice way to remember it, that supplementary starts with an S, and so does the word straight. Complementary forms a corner. The word complementary starts with a C, and so does the word corner. And in a corner there's 90 degrees. And congruent means the same shape and the same size. And it, one way to think of the word congruent is that it's equal in measurement. So let's actually dig into this one. They're looking for an angle that is supplementary to angle H, Z, J. So the supplementary angle in question A has to finish off the 180 degree rainbow of degrees. So the missing angle that's needed to that, for that white angle to make 180 degrees is this black one here. So the angle that you would need would be, could be called angle H, oops, angle J, the black one, angle J, Z, F. Could also call it in reverse order, angle F, Z, J, and that would also be correct. For question B, the angle that we're looking for is the angle that will finish off the right angle worth 90 degrees. So that angle that would finish off the 90 degrees 
with the white one is this red one right here. So angle J C A. Or again, you could say that backwards, A Z J, and it still would be correct. To find an angle that's congruent to the white angle, well, remember our vocabulary from just above. We're looking for the angle that would have the same measurement, and that would be the vertical angle. So angle F Z G would be correct, or if you wanted to say it in reverse, GZF would also be correct. And we are done. Have a great day.